Okay, y'all, I'm super excited about this video. Let me show you what we're building today. Today, we're going to be building an HEB in Bloxbury. If you don't know what this is, this is basically a grocery store chain, kind of like Target and Walmart. And I think HEB is located mainly in Texas. So that's why I was really like interested in, in building one of these because I love the aesthetic of these stores. I also custom made these logos if you are interested let me know in the comments so i can write down the codes we already have the base of the whole supermarket as you can see it's nothing too complicated it's a little bit too big for me so i don't even know when i'm going to be decorating the interior i was thinking if y'all want to help me decorate the interior of this heb let me know in the comments also and yeah so this is the structure nothing complicated here we have like the front of of the store there are two main entrances and then back here we have the parking lot I actually got inspired by infinite to build this parking lot and like the roads so yeah go check them out and over here we have kind of like the loading deck i think it's called see i'm super excited about decorating this so let's go right into it okay i think i'm just gonna be decorating the exterior for this video so let's start with some roof i'm gonna grab a slanted roof and i'm gonna build a bunch of these there's gonna be one over here this is gonna be where all kind of like the gardening and the patio stuff is gonna be located at i think i'm also gonna be putting like some benches or something okay also i already have the colors and everything so it's just a matter of literally placing down the stuff this is supposed to be like some sort of metal texture i think you can tell I think usually the HEBs drag a lot of inspiration for their buildings from like the Texan and farm aesthetic. So that's really cool. This is gonna be like a tower. I'm actually combining like a bunch of HEBs that I saw, but I'm gonna try and link the pictures that I that I saw on Pinterest. Plus, I also want to make it feel like it's more of a local HEB instead of like a very big one. I want to make it a little bit more cozy. Basically mix it with the blocks from map. So we also need some structurals. I was thinking like I'm gonna put this one over here, but I'm also gonna put some lines on the roof to give it a little bit of texture like this. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I also wanted to do like realistic trees, but I think it's gonna be very expensive. And as I said, I do want to make this HB look realistic, also kind of like blended with the map. I feel like the regular landscaping that we can find in the game, it's gonna be our best bet for today. Oh, we also need the wall trim. I almost forgot about it. I was like, something's missing, but yeah, I think it's the fact that the floor is the same texture as well, but I want to use this texture so bad. I think it's called painted brick wood. I do not understand the color on it. Like, it's so dark. Even if you drag this little bar all the way up, it's still kind of dark. Which, I mean, it does make a good contrast with the wall, but in general, like the texture, I do not understand it. I'm gonna put this all around the building. This is probably gonna be like the most expensive building I've ever done. Plus, I really do want to finish this build, so if y'all want to help me decorate this, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna add a bunch of lights up here. Maybe we could just put one. I don't know if... I don't know, I don't know if I want to put two on the sides or only one up here. I don't know, what y'all think? Mm, I think I'm gonna go with only one up here because I want the logo to really shine. Plus, as you can see, the logo is not the original one. I couldn't find one. Like, there's a bunch of them in the Roblox decal catalog, but I do not like how they look. So I ended up doing them myself. That's why it doesn't look like 100% accurate, but I think the Fresh Foods logo does look pretty accurate to the real one. Okay, but the lighting on this side of the map i feel like this is a perfect plot for this hb looks beautiful bro what <clears throat> also let me show you the interior just in case you're copying this hb or wanting to copy this hb here is the interior layout you can barely see going on on the parking lot but if you build the interior i think you can very easily build the road and like the sidewalk so i added some details of camera such as these little details on the wall i also changed a little bit of this back part so as you can see the sidewalk ends here and then we have kind of like the loading deck over here so yeah it's basically the same i just give it i don't know what to work on now maybe the landscaping because i know we gotta do a bunch of the okay so what trees should i do i feel like this heb is giving kind of like this tree vibes but i do not like how it looks with this fence and i do want to keep the fence because i feel like it gives this place more privacy especially in the parking lot so i think i'm gonna do these are a little bit skinnier than the other ones and they kind of fit with the vibes so i'm gonna go for these also we gotta paint this place all kind of like autumn colors so let me do that as well 
I want to do like a shade of green that looks a little bit orangey maybe this let's make it a little bit darker so first I'm gonna place a bunch of these trees like the same ones just gonna be switching the colors I just love autumn and like the colors outside plot bounds what I want to like over clutter the place with trees either okay, I'm not gonna put that many. also here in the front I forgot I this little garden area I also want to do like a bunch of ventilation systems on the roof I just don't know how to do one yet so I'm probably gonna look look up for that on YouTube and then copy like a tutorial or something I think I'm gonna also add like some bushes and like little little rocks I think the key is to just even if I add a bunch of these like a lot of them just resize them so they look different from each other oh why didn't i paint these before placing them also these little garden areas if i'm gonna be able to fit a tree over here maybe i don't know if it looks kind of weird or maybe if we have like a more symmetrical landscaping on this part of the building the trees being right in the middle yeah that looks kind of good this is looking real nice honestly i had like really low hopes for this building but apparently it's turning out really good you know let's add some rock also i don't know if i'm gonna be decorating like this part of the house in this video i think i am gonna be putting a, a bunch of stuff but as i said earlier in the video hevs usually have like the patio kind of like exterior furniture out here and also a bunch of gardening stuff and like plants so if I decorate this part, it's probably gonna be off camera because I gotta do like the shelves with the plants and, and the grills and stuff. Oh, you know what will be so cute? Let me see if these flowers fit with like the vibe of the building, at least in these little garden areas, instead of putting like actual gardening over here. Okay, that does look cute. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. I'm just gonna change the color of these flowers. Maybe they could be green, like instead of them being flowers, we can pretend this is only grass like this okay that looks nice okay so that's gonna be it for these little planters i'm tempted to add these on this side of the building as well but i feel like it's gonna take a long time for me to do this because look at all the empty spaces should i i don't know i mean i'm already doing it so probably yeah yeah it gives it like a really nice texture i wish we could resize these that would be perfect that doesn't look that bad also let me see about adding some some street lights we definitely need those but i don't know where we put them should I put them inside the garden areas? Maybe there could be a bunch of these between the trees. I don't know if that's realistic either. How far apart should they be? Not the front part waiting for me to decorate it. Oh my god, I'm so lazy. I just remembered HEBs usually have like a drive-thru and I didn't even add that. Oh my god. And maybe next part of this building, I'm gonna add the drive-thru. It's usually like the pharmacy drive-thru. I also did the logo it's inside of the building because i don't know where to put it yeah i think that's why i didn't even know where to put that pharmacy sign it's usually because hebs have like this drive through they also have a section called curbside where in real life you pick up stuff only by parking there so that could be a good idea to add as well we still have a bunch of space on this side of the plot so maybe we can make it work like connect the road with the back part of the parking lot or something. Maybe you can even do that on this part. I don't know. Okay, so landscaping is done. Looking pretty good. Let me add a bunch of lights on this side of the building because we definitely need those. Oh, and some benches, right? Yeah, like at least one of these sections under these roofs would be only benches. Maybe this one on this side. I don't know. Or that one. Now I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this one i'm gonna put a bunch of fen of benches or what if instead of putting them against the wall i'm gonna put one over here and then the other one is gonna be i don't know if it would be a good idea in real life to have benches this close to the sidewalk and the road but this is not real life oh them being red look oh i also forgot about the lights that are gonna go under this roof on this space i wanted to put some trash containers but they're usually surrounded by some kind of fence like this one. Oh my god, I cannot find it. This one, this chain fence. Just don't know how to put it. Maybe I should put only like fence like that and then a bunch of containers. Okay, that, that looks good. I don't know if it's realistic, but it does look good. I was thinking it could be really cool that the loading deck had some sort of height to it. So I'm gonna try and do that. Y'all know I'm really bad at basic shapes. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I think it would have make a lot more sense if this was underground like this one underground but i don't even know how to do that as well like how you'll do that how you'll do the elevation and stuff is so difficult for me because i feel like it implies basements and i also struggle with basements so, uh, it also looks kind of weird on this side but maybe if we cover it up with a fence it won't we can do like a really simple fence maybe this one or we can even add another bench over here right I feel like that would be a nice addition 
or even in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna leave those for now. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. Okay, literally don't know if this did anything to the build, but I mean, it's nice. It's different. Yeah, I kind of like it. I definitely gotta do something with this space, but for now, I'm gonna leave it just empty and like open. As I said, I am gonna try and add like the drive through and the little corpse I think, but that's gonna be on another video. I think we should also cover this up with the roof, right? I think that's why it looks kind of weird. Something is not fully convincing me about the space. Well, I don't know. I don't know. The roof also looks weird. Okay, I'm not gonna add any roof to it. What if I do one of these red box machines? I don't know if they still exist. As I said, I'm not from the US, but whenever I went to the US, I used to see a ton of these machines. I never used them though, but I think you can basically rent movies these machines, so that, that could be a really good idea. I've never seen one of these on an HEB, but I have seen them on a Walgreens, which I think it would be a really cool idea to build a Walgreens in this game, so if you're interested in that, also leave it in the comments. So I have a picture with me of one of those machines. I think they have kind of like the curved part on the on the top. I literally gotta go to school in like half an hour. Not like an hour and a half, but I haven't showered or anything. I've been playing Bloxburg all morning because I've been so excited about this building. It's unreal. I'm probably gonna do it off camera as well, but I'm gonna upload some decals of this red box machine. Hopefully I'm gonna remember to do that. And we should also do like a bending machine, right? We don't have any bending machines in this game, I'm pretty sure. Like realistic bending machines. First of all, why Bloxburg? And second of all, I think it would be a good idea to build one of those as well. So this red box machine is obviously red, but it's not like this shade of red. It's a little bit more like this one. I'm just gonna tone it down a bit because this is too much. I think it's this color and I think I'm gonna copy the same one put it on the side but this is gonna be as I said more of a bending machine so like you can buy chips and drinks and stuff my god it would be also really cool to build like a stripes or a convenience store like a 7-eleven in this game is this one's gonna be okay now I think I'm gonna add the plants so this middle section is gonna be where all the plants and like the gardening and also the patio stuff is gonna be so maybe we can start by putting some grills down I'm gonna put like four of these over here. I don't want them to look like very straight, so I'm gonna kind of like tilt them a bit. I'm gonna put four. We should also do like little signs, right? With the prices. I'm pretty sure we do have a floor sign in this game. Floor. Yeah, this sign over here. I also want to do some shelves. I'm gonna do two of these on the back. I'm gonna put a bunch of plants. Also some pots. Some of these are going to be filled with plants others are not going to be filled with plants this is actually looking super cute oh i should have added like patio stuff right like furniture maybe i can still add some i don't know some chairs i guess i don't even know how they place this furniture in real life on the hebs like is this a good idea that looks ugly come on that does not look oh my gosh wait i'm like exterior decoration for halloween i feel like that would be a cool idea like some inflatables or something I do? Oh my god, the inflatables cost tickets, right? Oh no. Well, they're not that expensive. Plus, I already have the the little $6,000, no, 6,000 tickets car. So that's actually what I wanted the most to buy with these tickets. So yeah, I feel like I can add a bunch of Halloween-y stuff. Like these pots, these are also super cute. Oh my god, I thought this coffin costed like actual money but apparently it costs tickets no way this costs 2000 tickets no thank you okay i think i'm gonna call this video a day let me give you a tour of this hb so so far this is what we've got honestly it's looking super cute i didn't even think it would look this cute i still feel like it needs a bunch of stuff such as maybe like some light poles or something in the front i don't know definitely needs more decoration but i'm gonna do that on the next video but as you can see the exterior looks really realistic i love this and how it looks like if it was a barn so here we have the two main entrances here in the middle it's kind of like the patio stuff that HEB sells which I feel like it looks pretty realistic as well on this side we have a bunch of benches and on this other side we're gonna have like the bending machines 
so yeah all of this space really makes sense back here we have the parking lot it also looks really good like it looks really cozy and it blends in with the map pretty nicely i think it's because of the trees and like the color but yeah it's pretty spacious as well we have more benches and a little bit of landscaping some windows the walls are also pretty detailed which i love and here we have the loading deck as i said in the video i'm thinking about adding like a drive through over here so extending this parking lot all the way to this side of the building that would make a lot of sense and these HEVs usually have that at least the ones that I've been to so yeah let me know what you think about this HEV also if y'all want to help me decorate this HEV I'm probably gonna be letting you guys know through Twitter because that's my only social media account besides from here from YouTube I would probably also like let you guys know on the community tab on here on YouTube yeah, if y'all want to help me decorate the inside and also the outside, like add more detail to this HEB on the outside, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. And yeah, with this said, I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye.